Now these two questions were asked in 2012 NCA paper. Log of x is 3 log 2. So basically you want to find the value of x. So well, you can see this is same as, so this implies log of x using the log rule is same as log of 2 cube. So this implies this implies again I'll write log of x is equal to log of 8. So you got log of x is equal to log of 8 so x should be 8 that's all. So let's confirm what does this mean this means log of 8 log of 8 is same as 3 log 2 or 3 times log 2. So let's confirm this on a calculator. So let's enter log 8. That is this number and if you enter 3 log 2 it will give you the same number. So this answer is right. Okay so the next question is what is the next question? The next question states or tells us that log log base 5 of x is 2. So writing this in exponential form this implies, so let me use a darker color let me use a darker color so log, this implies mm, this is annoying ok so let me use a darker color so this implies, can I say this writing in the exponent form, I can say phi raised to 2 is equal to x. So that's how from a log form you can write an exponential form. So this implies x is equal to 25. So what have we just said? We have said that log base 5 of 25 is equal to 2. So let's prove this without a calculator. With a calculator you can do it in a different way. So this means log base 5 of 5 squared, 25 can be written as 5 squared. And this is to write using the log rule, this is 2 log base 5 of 5. And log base 5 of 5 is 1. Okay, so that is 2 times 1, which is 2. Now if you want to confirm this on a calculator, if you want to do this on a calculator, what you do is, you just enter this, if you want to do this on a calculator, you just go log 25 divided by log 5. That's again a rule, which should be 2. So this is one more rule, you can always, this is a very powerful rule log base b of a is log of a divided by log of b. So let's check that. So if I go log 25 divided by log 5 should give me 2. Okay. So let's look at the next question in 2012 exam paper. It says Tara, Tara's aunt invests 2,000, 2,000 rupees, or sorry, dollars, 2,000 dollars for her when she's born. The interest is 3.5 percent per year. The rate does not change as long as the, as long as the money stays invested. The interest is added to the amount when to the amount she has invested on a birthday each year. Okay, the value of the investment after t years can be modeled by this equation. So we've got an equation. A is 2000 times 1.035 raised to t, where A is the amount of the value of the investment. How long will it take for the investment to be 2250? So basically, the question is, what is the time after how many, where time is in years? So after how many years 
the amount is going to be 2250 so let's put this so you can put as 2250 so this is 2250 is equal to 2000 times 1.035 raised to t so dividing both sides by 2000 so this is 2250 divided by 2000 is equal to 1.035 raised to t now let's do this in a, in the previous videos i showed you how to write this directly in the exponential form or you can also do in a different way you're taking log of both sides so if you can say log of 2250 divided by 2000 is equal to log of 1.035 raised to t so divide uh, so using the log rule here on this side i'll keep this as it is so i'll say log of 2250 divided by 2000 is equal to t log of 1.035 so now dividing both sides by log of 1.035 i can say log of 2250 divided by 2000 divided by log of 1.035 should be equal to t so you have to just put this on the calculator and figure out the answer so let me show you so i will go log bracket 2250 divided by 2000 close the bracket divided by log of I put this in the bracket 1.035 close the bracket equals 3.42 years so we can say it's three point right, let's write in 2 dp so after 3.42 years you can say so and let me show you how you can also do the same thing on a calculator so we can say when t is 3.42 after 3.42 years or roughly after three and a half years the principal which was 2000 becomes becomes 2250 you can also do this on a calculator directly so if you go to graph and type in 2000 2000 times uh, 1.035 raised to x and we know so we have to set the scale so let's go from 0 to say 20 years and we know the minimum should be say 2000 so I'll go from 0 to say let's say 20,000 or let's say 5000 okay and see and the scale let's put it 500 and see the graph so this is the graph for five years so to check the answer you can go g sol you want to calculate the time that is x when y is 2250 when the amount is 2250 so this is the answer directly on the calculator when time or x is 3.42 years the amount which was 2000 becomes 2250